Hi there gorgeous and a very happy Frugal Friday to you. If you are new to the channel, welcome. I make videos like this every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Fridays are the days when I focus exclusively on drugstore and affordable makeup products. So if you'd like to be notified of new videos in the future, please subscribe and I'd like to say thank you so much in advance if you do. Today it's another drugstore must-haves, must-nots and uh, I apologize for my absence this past week. We all here uh, caught the creepy crud. First my kids kids got it and then I got it and my husband got it so this whole past week has been such a struggle it's been survival mode so if I sound a little nasal still or I seem a little out of it bear with me if I get into a coughing fit I apologize we're going to try to get through this video as quickly and as easily as possible so let's hop right on into it First product I have to share with you is one that was very recently released by NYX Cosmetics. This is their Fluff and Fill Eyebrow Pomade Pencil. I love the micro brow pencil that NYX was putting out. I think they discontinued it now. So when I saw that this one was available, I got really excited and I did get the Auburn shade to try. And I didn't like the applicator of it. It's got a triangle tip to it, which I felt like was a little too thick for me, and it deposited too much product, which oh, I really didn't care for personally. I like to be able to control the amount of product that I'm applying, and I didn't feel like I had that control with this applicator. And this one is also very unique in that they decided to do away with the spoolie altogether and instead they have this little thing called a micro paddle brush. It literally looks like a mini artiste brush and I thought oh that's really cool I can't wait to use that. It doesn't really work as well as you might think that it would. All this really does is brush through your brows. It doesn't really move the product around very easily and I actually found myself reaching for an old spoolie on another eyebrow pencil just to get the product to disperse evenly through the brows. So the brush while it's cute it's not really functional and it doesn't really serve a purpose. So while I know that they were trying to be innovative with this, with this and I give them props for doing that, it kind of fell short for me. So this would be a must not, both in quality and in color especially because I felt like the auburn shade was way too red. But a must have that I discovered recently and have been using consistently ever since is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. You can see how much I've already used there. I have a backup because this stuff is fabulous. It takes off all traces of makeup instantly. Waterproof everything doesn't stand a chance with this stuff. and. It's become my go-to for removing my makeup, especially here in the studio when I'm changing looks. I just filmed a video today where I did five looks back to back to back. And this stuff really was making it easy to change from look to look to look without drying out my skin, I must say, because that's another one of the issues that I face with makeup removers like this is that they do tend to dry out my skin, but this, has not done that, thankfully, so must have. Now another product I wanted to share with you is a new one from Sally Hansen. This is the No More Stains Spray On Base Coat. So this is something that you spray on your nails before you apply your nail polish, and it's supposed to help eliminate staining on the nails, the skin surrounding your cuticles, and it also claims to help fill in ridges so you get a smoother application of polish without any of those ripples, I guess, through your nails. And I didn't find that to be the case with this. I still had ripples in my nails even after using this spray. It did help to eliminate staining on my nails, but I feel like I get the same kind of thing with applying a simple clear nail polish beforehand. So I don't feel like this is something that you absolutely need. I would not say you have to go out and buy it, so I'm labeling it as a must not. Another newer product I spotted recently is from CoverGirl, and this is their True Blend Super Stunner Liquid Highlighter, and the shade that I'm showing you here is Pink Pearl. Very runny consistency with this one, I will warn you now, and extreme pigment also. The first time I used this, I was amazed at the small amount that I needed for application. A very tiny amount, and the results are simply stunning with this. It's very natural looking on the skin, not over the top by any means whatsoever. It looks like a lit from within glow, and it's... 
a product that I have really become to love, even though I'm not exactly one to usually rave about highlighter, but oh, ho, ho, I would wear this every single day. And I have been practically since I purchased it. I'm surprised I don't have it on today, but it's a must, must have. Another product I tried most recently was one that was sent to me as part of a PR package from Rimmel. I'm not sure if it's a new product or something that they are re-promoting, Nevertheless, I tried it out. It's from the Rimmel Scandalize line. It's their Precision Micro Eyeliner. This claims to be long-lasting, waterproof, smudge-proof, and will provide you up to 24-hour wear. Well, I would tell you, first off, I like the thin applicator tip with this one. That instantly got my attention. And the line that this creates is extremely sharp. It will not feather or bleed on you. It's a beautiful consistency with this one. And the best part is it's not a glossy finish. I can't tell you how many drugstore liquid eyeliners I've tried that end up being glossy in the final look, and I really just don't like that. It's not 100% matte. I would consider it more semi-matte, but I can live with that. And this one, does not smudge, stays all day long. It will not break apart on the inner corners of your eyes, nor the outer corners. It's wonderful stuff and it is absolutely waterproof also. So if you're looking for something like that, must have. I need to find out if they make this in brown because I've been looking for the longest time for a brown liquid eyeliner from the drugstore that is of this quality, which definitely going to be checking it out. This next product I'm getting ready to talk about is not drugstore, as in you can't walk into a drugstore and just purchase it off the shelf, which makes me really sad because it's such a fabulous product. But I wanted to mention it because I know a lot of you have said in the past that you struggle with this issue and I've been very vocal about it. It's something I have struggled with for a long time and that is deodorant. I am one who does not want to put aluminum deodorants on my body. So I'm always trying out natural deodorants and nine times out of 10, they stop working on me. They'll work for about a month and then they quit and I have to change to something else or I end up with a rash or I can't even tell you how many I have tried and none of them work. But one of my subscribers recommended this to me, I wanna say like three or four months ago in the comments on another video. I was intrigued after I watched the commercial and that is the brand Lumi. And if you haven't seen the commercial for this, it is hysterical. The first time I saw it, I had to watch it at least three times. I just laughed my butt off because they had such a comical way of making deodorant attractive, like it made you wanna buy it. But I was skeptical about it. They claim that you can also use this on your nether regions if you have issues there as well. It's aluminum free, baking soda free, developed by a gynecologist, I believe also, and hypoallergenic. And it comes in two different varieties. They make a scented version and they make an unscented version. Now I got both because I typically do not like a smell. And I will tell you, based on my experience, the unscented one did not work for me at all. That one, it was actually the first one I tried and I remember feeling like, oh man, I had such high hopes for this stuff. But I went ahead and tried the scented version and I had a lot of success with this. And I'm telling you what, I can go to a spin class, sweat my butt off, seriously. and. I don't smell. There's nothing. It, it's, I, I'm speechless. I'm blown away by this stuff and I've been using it for the past three months or so. Wow. Lavender and sage. That's exactly what you're smelling when you apply it. The best part is, is that I usually apply this after my shower at night and gives the skin a chance to absorb it overnight. And by the time I wake up in the morning, I don't smell it anymore. So it, if you don't like the scent of lavender and sage, and you really you don't want it to linger, you don't have to worry about that. If you apply it the night before, by the time the morning comes, it's not even there anymore. So thank you so much to whoever, I wish I could remember who suggested this to me. It's oh, It's been a great addition to both my husband's and my bathroom. He swears by this stuff now too, because he's also been a huge proponent of aluminum-free deodorants, so. If you know someone who's been looking for something like this, they will love you for it. So huge hugs and kisses to you who recommended it. This video is not sponsored. 
by the way, no, I just really, when I really, really, really love a product, I will tell you. And when I really don't like a product, I'll tell you that too. I do have an update for you on a foundation I tried this past month. And that was the one from Believe Beauty. This retailed, I believe, for $5 at Dollar General. Dollar General came out with a whole new line called Believe Beauty recently within their stores very affordable brand and I did a whole face worth of testing their products out and the foundation was one of them I tested. I tested it alongside one of their primers and setting sprays and that was the only way that I tested this foundation out. I didn't feel like it wore that well with either of the products and I know the setting spray looked rather convincing on camera. In real life it really didn't hold up that much better than the side with the primer. So I decided to try this one on an entirely separate occasion with one of my trusted primers, which is the one from Bare Minerals, the Primetime Original Foundation Primer. I applied that to one half of my face and then I left the other side completely untouched with nothing but the foundation over it wore it all day and this was a day I remember going outside with Jet and running around with him while my husband had Gia so I was sweating and I expected I felt like my face was sliding off but by the time I came in to do the check on the check on <laughs> the check in two hours later I was amazed at how beautiful my face looked both on the side with the primer and the side without the primer if you don't use the primer and the setting spray from the Believe Beauty line I think you'd be really happy with the results. I was pretty impressed to see such a turnaround with this foundation because I was convinced that it was not for those of us with oily skin, but pair it up with a primer that you trust, I think you'll be really impressed with it. Another love that I talked about in a video recently and that has become something I've been using every day since is the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Mascara. This is holy grail status for me. It's got a great wand to it, excellent formula. It makes my lashes look beautiful. It's one that I feel confident wearing without false lashes on an everyday basis. And I would go so far as to compare it to the L'Oreal Lash Paradise, but a much easier formula to remove from the lashes. So if you like Lash Paradise, but you want something that's a little easier, check out CoverGirl's Exhibitionist. I think you'll be thrilled with it, both from a wand and formula perspective. Now the last product, nope, not the last product. I have three more to share with you, but I'll also give you another update on a Believe Beauty product, and that was the contour stick. I didn't really talk much about this in the final thoughts of that video, but this has been another one of those products that I've been using consistently since making that video. I just love how it looks on the skin. It's very natural, easy to blend in, and at this price tag, fabulous stuff. Now somebody had asked me about the highlighter, and I hadn't talked much about it in that video, so I also wanted to do a swatch for you here real quick of it, so you can see, I think this person had asked, what the highlighter looked like on pale skin. So that is how it appears. Come on, focus. Now this more or less blends into the skin. I mean, you can't even see where I applied it at this point. It looks more like a concealer now than an actual highlighter to me. And uh, it's not my favorite end of it. My favorite end is the contour side. That's the one that I'm using all the time, but now you know. A couple other newbies that I spotted in the drugstore when I was there recently are from Neutrogena. They came out with this Healthy Skin Blends, which is a natural radiance bronzer. The shade that I'm showing you here is number 30, Sunkissed. High level of pigmentation with this one. I didn't struggle with getting it onto my skin at all, but I felt like it was a little too orange for me personally. That, that could be the shade why I feel that way. Maybe if I would have gone with a lighter shade, I would have had a different experience, but this was the only one that they had in stock. So I'm not even sure if they make a lighter shade of this one, but I do feel like the pigment is excellent. And if you tried one of these out, you would not be disappointed. It's going to be up to you as to whether or not you like the color against your skin tone, honestly. I also tried out their Healthy Skin Blush in the shade number 10, Rosy. And this one has a highlighter built into it. It's a very soft wash of color on the cheeks. And while I like the initial application with it, I didn't really like how it wore. I felt like it faded by the end of the day. And I felt like I had to really pack it onto my skin to get it to even appear like it was there. So 
Unfortunately, this is not one that I would recommend and not, it's one that I regret purchasing, honestly. And that was everything. Was that everything on the list? Yes. All right. Well, let me know some of your must-haves, must-nots recently from the drugstore. We'd love to hear your favorites as well. If you're interested in any other products that I... And the camera decided it was done, so let's try this again. <laughs> I don't even know where I got cut off. If I am repeating myself, I apologize in advance, but I think I was saying, if you're interested in any of the products that I shared with you here today, I will have all of them listed and linked for you below. And I hope none of you are dealing with the creepy crud that is going around right now. And if you are, let me know. I will pray for you. I hope you feel better soon. This stuff is no joke. I mean, I have a friend who got it before we did, and I think she's been dealing with it for two weeks now. It's, it's almost like once this thing has you in its clutches, it's like, I'm not letting you go. But at any rate, I got Monday's video filmed. Take that bug. So if I get sick again over the weekend, <laughs> I'm ahead. But I hope all of you have a wonderful weekend ahead. Rest if you are sick. Drink plenty of water. Mm. <laughs> and I look forward to seeing you then. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch and for being here. I'll see you again soon.